Today's Spotlight on Naperville is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Welcome back to Spotlight on Naperville. I'm Nancy Wearsome, and we're going to turn our attention now to the Naperville Municipal Band. Always a pleasure to see you and hear you, I must say. Ron Keller is the director, so welcome back, Ron. Thank you. Dick Puglis is a special, special project. Special projects, right? So we're glad you're mm -hmm. here. And Diana Brandt is the band manager. So welcome to you, Diana. Thank you. Ron, let's talk a little bit about the band. <clears throat> well, <laughs> We are starting on our 154th summer season, and uh, we uh, have a lot of variety this summer. Uh, we're going to, our concert coming up is uh, Memories of the Circus, and we're on uh, July 4th. We are doing uh, the uh, from Glenn Miller to Sousa, and uh, we are not doing the 1812 on the July 4th concert because we can't get the cannons. They are in Gettysburg for the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg, so. The 1812 overture will be on June 27th, and that will be that. Actually, we are dedicating that concert to Chet Rybecki, who it was his idea from way back in 1977 to do the 1812 to get those cannons, to get those right? Cannons, and and he he said to me, uh, it's my, one of my favorite numbers. Well, how come you've never played it? And I said, well, Chet, to do it right, you have to have cannons. The next day he called me, he said, I've got four when you want them. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story. That's great. Well, so we get two patriotic concerts two, then. Two in a row. We get June 27th and, and Jan Jan July 4th. Because it falls on a Thursday, yeah. so that's great. Good. Yeah. Um, well, let's move Diana to talking a little bit about Central Park because some changes in the last couple of years, right? Yes. Uh, last year, um, we got a whole new grading of the park and we got brand new benches for everyone to sit on. They look fabulous. Uh, the ground's a lot more uh, more even now, so everybody has a great spot no matter where they are. And this year we have wonderful permanent bathrooms. <laughs> Yahoo! Everybody has one of those for so long, right? It's just a little thing, but it means so much to so many. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So it's, it's great. So now the park is fully functional for everybody to enjoy. Oh, that is just fantastic. And you also talk about um, music for the students because you do a lot of special things with students, right? Yes, we have an internship program um, it's through basically the school district 203 and 204 and their students recommended by their band director to participate in our rehearsals and then perform in one of our indoor concerts. So we've had students from Wabanzi, Niqua, Matia, um, Naperville Central, Naperville North and they'll sit in with us uh, for our indoor rehearsals and then they will perform one of our indoor concerts and it is great because they realize music doesn't have to stop when you're in school. Once you're out of school, you can still continue to play, and that's what we do. I well, mean, you have a great age range, don't you, in, awesome in the age band? Range. Yes, we have as a young big... as high school, so 17, 16 years old, and our oldest member is 92, I think. That so. is just fantastic. And that's how you keep it 154 years <laughs> later, yes. by engaging the next generation. Yes, so. keeping it fresh, really. Another way we engage the next generation is by the awarding of the scholarships. Mm -hmm. We did that at last week's concert. I think there were 13 awarded, if I'm not mistaken, to the top student in all of the junior and middle schools, junior highs oh, and middle schools. One from, each, one from each school. One from each, that recommended by their band directors. Yeah. It's amazing well. to see the look on their face when they sit in for the first time and here's all these adults playing and they and the first note that's played these kids look around like holy cow yeah <laughs> these people know how to play right yeah. <laughs> and they're older well, than 18 well, years those old those old guys can play yeah exactly <laughs> well okay so we have the summer concert series on thursday nights right. 7:30 and dick now there's we love the music but there's also a lot of other things going on first thing we it. like to give our patrons as they walk into the park is one of these this is our weekly program and it lists the musical score uh, for the night. We also have a sponsor each week uh, that's printed on page three. The sponsors will bring in uh, a little bit about their business. They'll be able to talk to the audience about that, but more importantly, they bring a couple of gift certificates. Oh. And we run a raffle each week. Uh, we call it a drawing. 
And uh, the drawing numbers are on the, on the bottom of page two here. I don't know if we can see it on the camera uh -huh. or not. But uh, we run 1,000 programs, numbers one to 1,000. The first 1,000 in the park get a program. They are immediately in the raffle. And uh, we, about halfway through the concert, we get up and the band offers two gift certificates. Our concert sponsor for the evening offers two gift certificates. It's a nice way for us to say thank you to the audience for being there and being so sure. supportive. It's a great way for the commercial establishments to uh, expose themselves to three or 4,000 people out in the audience. It's a yeah, good commercial you get venture. A, a and the audience crowd. loves it because they, get, they have a chance of winning some nice things with downtown gift certificates. Sure. And so then you also have the ice cream, right? Absolutely. Ice cream we social. have uh, an ice cream social. Those are charities usually. And mm -hmm. I noticed the group that you had on before us here, they are one of our ice cream social Excellent. groups this year. And uh, which is nice because uh, the people who come to the park early to get their programs, they can get dinner, they can get desserts, they can get pie, coffee, whatever they like from the people back in the gazebo. Got to have the pie, right? Got to yeah. have the pie. One other oh, yeah. thing about our sponsors this year, uh, we're very grateful that we have six sponsors of our 11 concerts who are repeaters. Some have been with us since we started this back in the 150th year. We also have five new sponsors that have come on too. I think word is spreading that this is a great way to get my business exposed <laughs> sure. to Naperville. Yeah. So we have a nice balance between uh, repeaters and, and new people that are coming oh, that's on as sponsors. Wonderful. Well, we only have a minute left. Let's talk about a couple of the other themes. Well, we have uh, one of our band directors, one of our people in the band is celebrating their 50th year with the band, Florence Landorf, and that's on August 1st. We're calling that a melodic caravan. And then uh, our last concert on August 15th, uh, the United States Navy Band from Great Lakes is coming down and share the concert with us. And it'll be the second military band we've played with this summer. Oh, that's great. Uh, Those are so inspiring. Yeah, and, and we hope to have a nice reception for that band also when they come down. Sure. And we'll have a reception for And them. the municipal band has had a very close relationship with the military for mm -hmm. many, many years. The American Legion and the VFW in Naperville and of course we participate in Memorial Day and of Veterans course. Day and the 9-11 service at the Shannara Memorial. Uh, so we're totally involved that way. Yeah, well it's 154 years later and we just hope it continues to go and I think it will with all the kids you're engaging. I think so. <laughs> I think it will. So we wish you all the best and once again we want to emphasize that the 1812 Overture is not on 4th of July, it's on July... June. June 27th so that those cannons can go out east. Right. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right. Well, thanks so much for Thank being you on. For and we're going to take a very short break and then we're talking Rib Fest. So don't go away. Mm -hmm.